Let's begin. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Fro Fizzle, in the building. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2022 film, Nope, starring Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer, directed by Jordan Peele. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Long story short, I was disappointed by this film, but I want to be completely fair and weigh out all the pros and cons from my perspective. This one's about Otis Haywood Jr., or OJ, played by Daniel Kaluuya, and he works as a horse caretaker slash consultant on film sets with his father, played by Keith David, and his sister Emerald, played by Kiki Palmer. Creepy things start to happen around their family farm, and they start to suspect that something strange is watching them from the sky. As far as the acting goes, I think the cast works very well. Daniel Kaluuya does a great job playing Otis Jr., he goes from a soft-spoken, stuck-in-a-shell kind of a guy to a fearless fight-back guy at the end of the film. I enjoyed his character development. Kiki Palmer is very solid as Emerald, and I thought she shined during the more dramatic-slash-intense scenes. It did feel like she was playing Riley from the boondocks at times, but that wasn't a nitpick for me. I thought Brandon Perea as Angel was a nice addition to the film. I liked his character, and I thought he had a nice comedic timing. Cinematography was awesome, despite a few nitpicks with how dark some shots are at times. The overall camera work was done very well. I loved the tracking shots that the film had, and some nice one takes. The sound design was fantastic. Spoilers, but we can hear screaming from inside of the UFO creature when it would zoom by in the sky. I thought it was a nice touch in detail, and I even found it to be very creepy. I liked both the soundtrack and the musical score. The score, to me, was very similar to Signs, which I really enjoyed because of how much I loved that film. Now, this one is big spoilers, but I got spoilers in the motherfucking title. Y'all know better. There's a pretty brutal sequence involving a chimp named Gordy who goes crazy on a sitcom set. And this might have been my favorite scene of the film. I loved how they shot this sequence, and I found it even to be very creepy and even intense, especially when the chimp Gordy stops for a second and gives the camera a very creepy stare. The second scene that I loved is where a good-sized audience gets sucked up into the UFO, and we see them being digested inside of this creature. I thought this scene was well done and even unnerving. There's an awesome shot near the end of the film where the UFO creature rains blood onto the farmhouse. And it felt very shining to me. I love this shot. Now, on to the things that I didn't like about this film. The biggest problem for me in the movie is the creature design. I hated, hated the creature design. It looked like the bottom of a sombrero hat, and it completely took me out of the film, personally. I liked when they showed less of the UFO creature, Less was more to me for this film. From my watch experience, I felt that the pacing was terrible and slow. For me, Nope felt like a three-hour movie for a two-hour and ten-minute film. Who the fuck am I to say this? But I felt that this film could have been trimmed down at least 10-15 minutes. I wasn't a fan of how the film was using title cards. It confused me at times and also played a big part of taking me out of the film. I thought it was supposed to be the horses that the title cards were named after, but then Gordy the Chimp pops up and the Chimp sequence, and I got even more confused. From the title cards, a good amount of people are saying that they laughed a lot in this film, and I only got one or two chuckles, mainly out of Brandon Perea's character, Angel, and once or two times where OJ or Emerald would look up at the sky at the UFO creature and be like, nope. Those parts did give me a nice chuckle. Keith David only has three lines in this movie as the father, Otis Sr., and he fucking dies less than eight minutes into the film. This probably won't bother most people, but it bothered me. I felt that it was harder to follow certain characters' motives as I was going through the film. Spoilers, but Steven Yuen's character is supposed to be a scumbag. I wouldn't have known this if I didn't look it up after, but his character was sacrificing the horses to the UFO creature. Again, I didn't catch this immediately because I felt the film was so bloated. 
and it was hard for me to follow at times. Overall, I had a good amount of excitement built up for this film, but I found myself to be very disappointed. I'm gonna give Nope a six out of 10. Thanks, Plane. Again, this is all personal opinion. If you love this movie, no problem at all. I can see why you would. This film just wasn't my cup of tea. But that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro Fizzle. Subscribe for more. Comment below. Let me know if there's any movies that you'd like me to review. Or let's just talk movie shit. Comment below. I appreciate y'all. Peace.